Chris Hansen. Or allegedly Chris Hansen's back. He was arrested for some time. I don't know what happened. I'm not exactly sure what happened. But Chris Hansen is going to have a sit down with uh, Wings of Redemption. Also known as Jordy Jordan. Um, somebody said his name is Richard. His real name, Richard. I'm just going to call him Richard Fat. Because I don't know his last name. So Richard Fat. Have a seat over there, please. Well, I mean, it has a... Uh, as a matter of fact, he's going to need about three seats. Okay, have a seat in those three seats over there, please, Mr. Richard Fat. Anyway, Chris Hansen is going to do an interview with Wings of Redemption, just like he did with Only Use Me Blade. You guys remember Only Use Me Blade? The drunken slob. I guess he got married recently. I'm not sure. But anyway. This is coming from Wings of Redemption's mouth. Uh, allegedly. He said that. 12 year olds. Should and could. Give consent. Really? No I don't think that Wings of Redemption. Would waste his time. And try to meet a minor in, par in person. I don't think he would do that. Because he probably doesn't travel travel outside of his trailer park. Um, I, I just don't see that happening. But that's what I thought about EDP 445. Speaking of which, Chris Hansen. You need to do an interview with Eat That Pedophile 445. Uh, EDP people for five went into hiding. Haven't heard much about about him. I don't know what's going on with that. I'm sitting here in the Myers parking lot, just outside of Lansing. But anyway, a lot of rain today. So anyway, what was I saying? Chris Hansen is a biblical beast. I got breaking news. That's not the breaking news. My breaking news is I'm aiming for tomorrow night. I'm making a comeback to TikTok. After a month hiatus, I'm coming back to TikTok. That's not all. Guess where else I'm going back to after like a six month hiatus? Or maybe it's like four months. I'm coming back to Twitter. Twitter. Barnabas Reynolds, my girlfriend Jean Uh all you nerds on Twitter that have been harassing me, Antifa, BLM, the Michigan, you know, Antifa, you know, Detroit will breathe. Is Detroit will breathe still a thing? I don't think they are. I think they I think they're done. It was a a year and a half fad that lasted. But anyway, uh, Joker's Wild, uh, VV3, uh, Ikaj, also known as Jake, uh, Sippin' Salsa, Mr. Solid Snake, all the other nerds that follow me on Twitter. The one guy, Luigi, he had a, uh, he had a Luigi picture, I can't remember his name. Uh, Mr. Um, the one that always talks about 33, you know. Illuminati symbol, 33, you know, I can't remember his name. Anyway, I'm coming back to Twitter. I'm going for it tomorrow night. I'm going to try for tomorrow night. I got to make a couple phone calls. I got to get some counts, counts reactivated. I got to get a hold of some people. But I'm going to, I'm coming back to TikTok and I'm coming back to Twitter. And then I'm going to investigate Wings of Redemption. Wings of Redemption, you're exposed. Uh, alongside my partner in crime, Chris Hansen, we're going to expose the truth about Wings of Redemption. We're going to expose the truth about EDP 445. Got some stuff coming up here in Michigan. 
in a few days, James Craig, he's running for governor of Michigan, he's having a rally in Wyandotte, which is down river. I might attend as a protester. Also, Donald Trump is holding a rally in Michigan, Washington Township on April the 2nd, and I got two tickets. I bought it. I got another ticket for somebody. I'm not going to say who, but then I found out that other person already had a ticket. So I got an extra ticket for Donald Trump rally Saturday, April 2nd in Washington Township, Michigan. So that's coming up in a couple of weeks. So lots of stuff coming up. Summer's around the corner. Spring is here. The good stuff is coming. And I'll make a comeback to Twitter. So that's what's up. Stay tuned.